Uh, join them with first team manager Chris Search on a, a bit of a chilly Tuesday night. But uh, three points against the league leaders, Search, you probably doesn't get better than that, does it? It doesn't, mate. Certainly, uh, certainly warms you up. Um, unbelievable, the boys. You know, we had a had a specific game plan tonight. Um, you know, Dartford, unfortunately for them, are in a bit of a lull, if you like. Uh, I think it's all 300 minutes before, uh, before today without um, without scoring. I think it might actually be. Uh, Obviously, a lot long, a lot longer than that now. So we we, we felt we could have hit them at the at the right time. Um, you know, we had a game plan. We knew how they would set up, um, and you know, they, they tried to um, leave their uh, the, the right winger high. Um, so we just had to sort of um, sort of um, uh, put pain in close on him, and then make sure that they didn't create the overload with the with the right back coming coming higher and. Start Lamar on Murtar to try and stop him ticking it over, and, and the boys were absolutely fantastic today. Um, to a man, you know, I thought first half it was was brilliant, you know. But but as I said to the boys at half time, we've had some brilliant uh, 45 minutes performances. You know, I, I look back over the season, you know, Hampton, uh, St Albans first half in the FA Cup. I thought that you know two outstanding performances for us uh, for 45 minutes, and you know, second half um, on both them games was a little bit off it. Um, today, you know, first half was 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 superb. You know, to a man, they they battled and, and and fought for every single ball. And then second half, you know, the challenge was up to them. Can they go and do another 45 minutes? You know, can we can we go and perform for 90 minutes? And the boys, you know, it, it, it was it was answered. You know, I thought first half we edged it, and second half we we certainly edged it. And um, the boys come away with just their rewards with the, with the three points and uh, massive massive result for us. Zeke, we'll, we'll get onto the, the goal in a minute, and uh, but I'm going to touch on on a couple of players before that. Firstly. Uh, Wyan, yep. um, obviously he came in as a right winger. He's moved back now as a wing back, stroke right back. And yeah. this evening he was up against you know some of the best footballers in the division, and yeah. and he held his own. How how impressed were you with his performance yeah, just tonight, but the last few weeks? He's been brilliant for us. You know, Wyan's had to be patient for his uh, spot. He's up against you know arguably uh, one of the top fullbacks in the league and in uh, Tosin Popo. Um, I felt today. Just with Warren's uh, ball carrying skills, um, the way that he is a bit more of a, a winger, if you like, that our out ball would be on the right side. Um, I felt that you know the way that they line up um, would be pinning Paney a bit. It meant it would be a little bit lopsided for us. So I felt it would be uh, that, that Warren would be a bit more one on one um, with their with their fullback. Um, and you know I thought we, he, he with his ball carrying skills would be our out ball today. You know he was excellent. You know not just in possession but. Out of possession, his timing of the press, his work rate. Um, I mean, he was he was brilliant. But you know, he wasn't um, he wasn't alone. I think you know, some outstanding performances from everyone. You know, challenged the group to uh, to put in a certain amount in their legs, get certain distances hit, and I'm sure. And by the time we upload them Titans, every single one of them would have uh, would have hit them targets. You talk about hitting targets. Uh, one player who certainly left it all on the pitch was, was Temi. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> we were pulled up slightly. Um, Just as you make the third sub, he he, started, he, he pulled something or something, didn't he? But he, yeah. even then, he was hobbling on and trying to press no, and stuff like that. Temi, was... yeah, Temi's uh, you know Temi's a big lad. You know his body, his body obviously uh, you know sucks in a lot of uh, lot of oxygen. We got a lot of fatigue going in there. But Temi today, you know, I, I've been speaking to Temi the uh, last couple of days. He can be a massive player for us, you know, you, you, you just have to look at him, um, you know, physically he's got all the attributes. It's just sometimes his, um, his mental side is sometimes not as strong as we'd like it to be. Uh, sometimes he gets himself a little bit down, but today, you know, I spoke to him yesterday um, and, and went, you know, spoke to him privately and, and spoke to him again before the day and told him exactly what, uh, told him exactly what we wanted from, um, from him today. Um, it basically was just, to, you know, stick the ball, hold it up. Do 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 his job, and Temi uh, worked so hard. The reaction when losing possession um, was absolutely key. He, he put that in today. I, I'm over the moon with Temi, and, and Temi will be delighted. I mean, he's been working very hard. He was obviously out of the team last uh, at the weekend, come in and, and put in a big performance, changed the game for us on on Saturday against um, against Slough, and earned his shirt today. And he's obviously earned it to keep it now. You know, it's his to lose. Um, you know, it's very much how we we do it at this club. Um, you know, you earn your shirt, you keep your shirt. So, Temi, Temi was was fantastic. You know, but as I say, so I mean, I couldn't fault um, I couldn't fault any one of them. I, I wouldn't be the, the wouldn't be um, wanting to pick man of the match tonight. Let's put it that way. We talk about you know Temi, but his strike partner this evening, obviously the man whose uh, goal was flipping marvelous. If you uh, pardon the pun, about but uh, Lamar didn't again another one didn't stop oh. running and could have had two or three goals this evening. Couldn't yeah, he? Lamar, Lamar's a, he's an enigma. Man. Mate, he's he's on his days unplayable. You know, he's 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 frustrating for me as a manager at times. You know, 
five minutes before I'm, I'm screaming and shouting at him because he he didn't hold the ball up, you know, and then and then. You know, I apologise to him because it's not how I should uh, should be managing Lamar. You know, Lamar wants an arm around his uh, around his shoulder, and you know, maybe I mismanaged that situation. Apologise to him, but he said to me after the game, it's uh, it gave him a kick up the arse. You know, he he, he reacted to, to to what I said, and he went and, and you know, you saw what he done there. It's similar to the Maystone situation. When he's like that, he's uh, he's on another level. You know, and he, he thoroughly deserved his goal. We gave him a specific job to do today. Um, maybe the fans and, and stuff that you know didn't understand what where he was, might, maybe didn't see it. But us as management team, we 100% saw what he done, and he, he, his uh, strength out of possession today was key in, in our victory. You know, yes, he scored the goal, but it was it was the you know if you like the the 89 minutes of him not having the ball for that one minute that that that, that, that gave us the opportunity because he, he he really bought into where we wanted to go um, uh, tactically tonight. Obviously. Obviously, as it is great three points against Dartford, you know, one of the, the, the best teams in the league. But is it, I suppose, a frustration then that you look at the results, the, the games that we've got results from, you look at uh, Dorking, uh, yeah. Maidstone, Dartford, you know, are so typically the, the big teams. Big ten, and look, there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> See, look, he's walking fine, he's healed. But yeah, the big teams, obviously, that we put the performance yeah. in, but then I suppose the smaller teams, in theory, you know, the likes of Hungerford, who yeah. punched above their weight like us and, and chipping them the same, who may have been below par, to, to, um, to put I th- it. I think, I think below par is probably a, a, a fair way of putting it. I think what, what people need to understand, you know, I spoke to Steve King before the game, he said his average age, is 27 you know average age in that group is 27 you know they've experienced pros they're experienced players played many and many a game of non-league football I think you know we just try to do it there and uh, after the game uh, you know other than Danny Green he's not going to like me saying he's 31 Tosan uh, it didn't start today but you know for 29 Blackie 26 you know is that old in your eyes 26 <laughs> yeah it's very old in my eyes um, you know, everyone else is a is a young man. You know, like that. You know, Jaden, uh, twenty, Wyan, twenty, Miles, Roberts, nineteen, um, Pollock's twenty three. You know, Payne, I think, twenty four. You know, uh, Blackie's twenty six. I say Blanche is twenty four. You know, Wyan Reed's. I don't know if I said that twenty. I mean, they they, they just they they they're kids really. They're kids, and for them to um, to to, do, to compete at this level is is testament to them and the group. So there, we are going to have um, uh, hiccups and slip-ups, as it's perceived, maybe against uh, the lesser sides, which um, which I don't see it like that. I, I look at someone like a Chippenham and someone like a Hungerford in particular. I mean, these are these are wily, old-school teams. You know, they know their way around the league. They've been in this league. They box clever. They 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 know how to play. They know when to play. You know they're, they're fantastic ambassadors for this league. So, yeah, they're not. They might not get the recognition and the, and the glory that a Dartford or a Dorking get. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Absolute shambles. Who wants, who wants chat Absolute minute, shambles. <laughs> so yeah, they might. You know, they're, they're, them teams might not get recognition that the, the, the so-called bigger sides get. But you know, they're, they're in this league and they've earned the right to be in this league for a reason. And that's that's you know something that people need to understand. There is not one easy game in this league. They, you know, uh, Dartford have come here and, and seen that tonight. You know, had a tough game Saturday. Come here today, probably expecting to get to get the win and you know they've, they've, they've gone on their travels with with nothing you know so there is not an easy game but as i said to the boys you know they've they've marked their territory now they've marked where they are you know their levels and if we maintain their levels and don't dip about below and we can maintain and maybe even punch a little bit higher because there's always room for improvement um who knows where this group can go you know it's a fantastic bunch of boys it's a fantastic club and Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honour when uh, when they perform like they did today and and, and took things exactly to uh, you know tactically perfect. It's it's, it's 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 a joy, you know, absolutely buzzing after the game and, and well deserved. One more thing, then we talk about the young players. Obviously, one of them leading by example, Pollock, um, yeah. captain, and tonight, you know, a superb display from him. You know, I said it already led by example, but he's been putting in those kind of displays all season, and he was probably pivotal to to the clean sheet, but just the whole. Tempo, I suppose, of the game this evening, wasn't it? Yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's, you know, Mr. Concord, if you like, he's, he's fantastic. You know, 24 now. Um, he's played, you know, good level, a number of games at this level. I think it's 109, 110 appearances now for Concord. So, you know, he's, he's been fantastic for this club. Um, absolutely brilliant again tonight. 
we've had our blips. You know, we, we can, yeah, as people can right, quite rightly see, they, you know, we've had some poor results on the road and, and poor results here. We've conceded too many goals. You know, so it's saying that we, we've shored up. You know, we've gone over it in training. I've spoke, spent time with the boys, defending side of things to, to try and sort of iron out these uh, these mishaps, if you like. And um, you know, they've all bought into it. You know, the way we set up today, the structure, the space in the gaps, we've been absolutely first class. So yeah, you know, Aaron yeah, being the skipper of the side, you know, he's he's, he's, he's great. You know, he's a real leader for the group. I'd like to get him communicating a little bit better, but um, you know, but fantastic. We'll leave it there because uh, Mr. Pack is coming to knit you for Man of the Match presentation. Lovely. Thank you very much, Sergio. Thank you, Kian.